Happy Halloween! We're so excited for the show and tell of our Pokemon themed Halloween costumes. After we got married, we decided to start a family tradition of holiday cards. But instead of your traditional Christmas card, we thought it'd be fun if we kicked off the holiday season early with Halloween cards to our family and friends. With quarantine, we've been spending a lot of time outdoors walking around, especially with these guys. And that means also playing a lot of Pokemon Go. We even attended our first ever Pokemon Go Fest this summer. So when the topic of Halloween costumes came up, it was a no-brainer that we would have to pay homage to our favorite quarantine activity. For us, Halloween is all about the unexpected, and I never pass up an opportunity to dress our dogs as humans. So of course, Ziggy got the leading role of Ash. And once Ziggy's role was determined, it was a no-brainer that I would have to be his best buddy, Pikachu. We already had a kangaroo onesie, so when I looked at the color and the fact that I had a tail, I immediately thought of Charizard, who happens to be one of Ash's original Pokémon. For Aubrey, as much as I love putting her in wigs, we thought that it would be really funny if the tiniest member of our family was the biggest Pokémon. She's also pretty long and very stoic, just like Onyx, so she got to be the Rock Snake Pokémon. And once all the costumes were decided, our in-house fashion designer went to work on creating all the pieces. We started with the measurements. Thankfully, Aubrey's pretty cooperative, especially when treats are involved. I thought Onyx might be the most challenging costume. I had to figure out how to make these 3D rocks and fit a small dog in the middle. I looked online for tutorials and even considered buying an Onyx plushie and just putting that on Aubrey, but had no luck. So I started with a paper model and got to work. After I got some of the rock formation together, I realized that rocks are not perfect, so I started to freehand or free sew the felt to make different shapes on the costume. There were lots of fittings and alterations, but in the end, Onyx ended up being the easiest and quickest costume I made. Next was Ziggy's Ash costume. I started with another paper model for the cap design and was able to use that as a template to cut out the felt. Since we were sticking with Pokemon from the original series, we decided to use Ash's original cap design too. For his jacket, I used an old polo shirt, added the collar and sleeves, and glued on all the embellishments. I made it into a shirt so that it would be easier for him to wear. Ziggy is generally less cooperative than Aubrey when it comes to fittings, but I think we did a good job. The biggest challenge for the Charizard costume was definitely the wings. There were two layers of fabric, gold on the back and teal on the inside, and I needed something sturdy enough to hold up the whole set. I tried cardboard at first, but the solution turned out to be plastic bova straws. I built the wing structure so I could slip on each wing and wear the set with elastic straps like a backpack. After the wings were done, the rest was much easier. I made a Charizard hat with my leftover materials, put together the tail flame, and even had enough felt to make some shoe and hand covers for Charizard's claws. Finally, we had the Pikachu costume. Using the Charizard onesie as a template, I made a yellow onesie out of fleece. This was tricky because the fleece was stretchy and much thicker than the felt I had been working with. There was some trial and error, but in the end, I was able to finish the onesie and add Pikachu's signature markings including his adorable ears, which are held up by my new favorite art supply, the boba straw. Now that the costumes were done, it was time for our photo shoot. To keep our models happy, we made sure to have plenty of treats on hand. We were lucky to have our experienced and professional photography team to help us capture everyone's good side. So that's a wrap for year three of homemade Halloween costumes. We hope you enjoyed watching. Please subscribe and follow us on Instagram at Jim Jan Living. And with that, Happy, Happy Halloween! Halloween!